Hello, my name is David Walla Widnick, and welcome to my home. So, recently, uh, for the summer issue of Taste Magazine 2020, I wrote an article called Bar Necessities, offer some advice on setting up your home bar. Well, in the sidebar, there's three cocktail recipes, classics, and this is one of them, a Negroni, okay? Equal parts of Campari, Gin, and Vermouth. The Campari, that's the one that never changes. The gin and the vermouth, pick something that you really enjoy. I love Bombay Sapphire and I love Martini and Rossi, so I'm gonna be using those ones today. So, we're going to create this cocktail, as I said, using three equal parts, 30 mils or one ounce of Campari. The same of the gin. I love that crack of a fresh bottle. And Bombay, here you go. The Martini and Rossi. As I've often said to people, vermouth is wine paste. Treat it as such. If you open the fresh bottle, put it in the fridge, it'll last a little bit longer. If you can't remember the last time you've opened it, go get a new one. So now we've got three equal parts there. The Campari, the gin, the vermouth. Let's add some ice. I always like adding ice afterwards because then I can control the dilution rate. And you might have heard me say before, how long do you stir? Well, get to know your ice. Because small cubes, they melt faster than big cubes. Once I feel like I'm nearly there with both chilling and dilution, I'll check it, taste it a little. Sometimes use a tasting spoon, other times I'll just go like that, put a couple of drops. Mmm, that tastes great. Now, I put this on ice, but I don't necessarily want to put that ice in the glass. For no other reason than I've tempered that ice. I've warmed it up a little bit. I'm going to put some fresh ice here. It's a little bit colder. Strain that into the glass. I'm using a Hawthorne strainer today. You could use a julep strainer as well. Oh, delicious Negroni. And classically, you're going to use an orange zest or an orange slice. It's got some pith on the back side of that. I'm going to slice that off. I've got a nice sharp serrated knife. Very carefully. Slice off that pith and just trim it up to make it look nice. Now, if I squeeze it, it expresses the oils of the orange right over the surface of the glass. Oh, perfect. And that is a classic Negroni. Cheers.